Survey of Calculus, Chapter 3, Section 2, Logarithmic Functions. Okay, first of all, just a reminder of what a logarithm is. Basically, it's the inverse of the exponential function. So log base A of X equals Y means A to the Y equals X. And you went through this in uh, college algebra, so hopefully this isn't too foreign. Log base A of X is the logarithm base A of X. For any positive number x, log of x equals log base 10 of x. So in other words, when you see a logarithm with no power on it, or no, sorry, no base on it, then it's automatically what's called the common base, which is 10, base 10. If you have an ln, as a reminder, that is a natural log, and that is base e. And that's primarily what we're, that is what we're going to be dealing with in this section, are the derivatives of the natural log. And again, these are not that complicated, um, maybe a little bit more than dealing with E, but not much. Our theorem is that the derivative of the natural log of X is 1 over X. That's it. Now we are going to be bringing the chain rule into play also, just like we did with E, but this is what just plain old natural log of X, this is what we get. So try these. Now on B, you're going to need to deal with the multiplication rule there for that first part. Pause the recording, give it a try, and resume to check your answers. Okay, for A, derivative of 3 times the natural log of x is 3 times 1 over x, which is 3 over x. For B, we need to do the product rule. So we're going to do the first times the derivative of the second, that's x squared times 1 over x, plus the derivative of the first times the second, 2x natural log of x, and then the plus 5x, the derivative of that is just 5. So we have x plus 2x natural log x plus 5. Okay, these are very similar to the ones we just did, so pause the recording, give these a try, and resume to check your answer. And again, this is just going to be 5 times 1 over x, or 5 over x. And for b, use the product rule. So we have x cubed times 1 over x plus 3x squared natural log of x plus 4, which gives us x squared plus 3x squared natural log of x plus 4. Okay, theorem 7 tells us how to deal with situations where you're not just taking the natural log of x. What if there's a function there? Well, you use the chain rule. It's 1 over whatever you're taking the natural log of times the derivative of that. Let's see how that works. Okay, so remember, I'll even guide you through part A. Part A, natural log of 3x, it's going to be 1 over 3x times the derivative of 3x, which is 3. So 1 over 3x times 3, which is just going to be 1 over x. Pause the recording, give B and C a try, and resume to check your answer. Okay, we already talked through that, through A, there it is. So B, it's 1 over x squared minus 5 times 2x. Why? Because 2x is the derivative of x squared minus 5. So you have 2x over x squared minus 5. C, you have to bring the uh, quotient rule to bear, so it is a little bit of a booger. Um, so you're going to do 1 over x cubed plus 4 over x times the derivative of that which is x times 3x squared minus x cubed plus 4 times 1 over 2x squared. Then what I did was I simplified that complex fraction at the beginning and then just kind of combined things there and cleaned it up a little bit. We get our answer. Now, you could have also, instead of dealing with it as a quotient, you could have taken the natural log of x squared plus 4 x to the minus 1. You could have simplified that fraction first, and you'll get pretty much the same answer little um, practical problem. In a psychological experiment, students were shown a set of nonsense syllables such as P-O-K, R-I-Z, D-E-Q, and so on, and asked to recall them every minute thereafter. The percentage who retained the syllables after T minutes was found to be given the logarithmic by the logarithmic learning model R of T equals 80 minus 27 natural log of T, where T is greater than or equal to 1. What percentage of the students retain the syllables after one minute? So just going to put in one there. 
and then find the derivative of 2 and see what it explains. So pause the recording, give this a try, and resume to check your answer. Okay, so just R of 1, put in 1, and you get 80, so 80%. 80 and then we're going to put in, we're going to do the derivative. The derivative of 80 minus 27 natural log of t is 0 minus 27 times 1 over t, or negative 27 time over t. Putting in 2, we get negative 13.5. That tells us that the, um, the rate of change over time is going down. So in other words, the more time goes on, the bigger percentage are forgetting. So after two seconds, two seconds after the students have been shown the syllables, the percentage of those who remember them is shrinking at the rate of 13.5% per second. Okay, here's our summary. So take a pause for a minute and look over this. And now there's a lot of information on here we did not go over because it was reviewed from the college algebra. So really what's important to you is going to be the properties of logarithms. So that's the main thing. Resume this to do some more practice problems. Okay, pause the recording as you go through these. Try the problems and resume to check your answer.